If you want to create thumbnails like this, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can do it utilizing KineMaster. Welcome to Underwater, the channel to make creators one click at a time. Without any further ado, let's go under. The first thing you have to do is to take a picture of yourself. Once you are satisfied with the results, bring it into Pixar and do all the necessary cuts to your image. Add some border lines to it and you are good to go. Next, you are going to open KineMaster. You are going to apply a blue dotted image that you can get from Google. Also, you are going to need some slow motion ink. And here is where making thumbnails with KineMaster takes a whole different meaning. Since you are working with video, not pictures, the color composition of some special effects will change organically, allowing you to choose what part of the clip satisfies you the most. Then you can use that clip as part of your thumbnail's background. If instead of a video I use a picture for the slow motion ink, I can only make it bigger or smaller. If I use a video, I can let it roll to the point where the colors are more vibrant. Now that you have your background set up, you can bring your image and start working with your text. Tap the library button and bring over the previously cut image from Pixar. Then position that image in the spot of your thumbnail that can better communicate your message. Based on personal experiences, it's better to place your image on the right side of your thumbnail. According to eMarketer.com, 75% of all videos watched online are watched on mobile devices, which means that the space for the title in your thumbnail gets smaller every time your video is watched on any mobile devices. Therefore, you don't want your video time clock blocking any part of the title of your thumbnails. Now, let's add some text to your thumbnail. Create just the first part of your title, then tap OK. Now you are going to choose any font you like the most. If you don't see anything you like, go to KineMaster's Asset Store and pick from there anything you consider to be most applicable to your thumbnail. Once you are satisfied with the results, simply duplicate your text so you don't have to do the whole process all over again. Do that by simply selecting your text and tapping on the three dots on the upper left corner of your screen. Repeat the process depending on how many segments you have on your thumbnail's title. When making thumbnails, try to convey your message by using the least amount of words possible and make them as big as you possibly can. At this point, what you still have here is a video, not a picture. So you need to export your project out of KineMaster. Tap the export button and choose the highest resolution available to you. Then play the video back and stop it at the part of the video where your moving background looks best. Screen capture your video and you got yourself a brand new thumbnail made with KineMaster. To recap, to make thumbnails utilizing KineMaster, you just need a background, a special effect video, a picture of yourself, some text, and a little bit of imagination. Every tool I use for this video is linked to the description box below. Also, you can get KineMaster on the Apple App Store and Google Play. If you have any questions, please leave it on the comment section down below. If you want to learn more about how to use KineMaster, take a look at these videos. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Activate that notification bell, and I will see you next time underwater.